Hello, everybody. My name is Dan, and this is a talk about open source. I have been an open source developer for a long time. I'm a recovering sysadmin, 60 days clean on my honor. I have done a number of talks over the years on open source, on things like transparency and collaboration and community and meritocracy and licensing and major league boring stuff. And it's all very important. People want me to keep talking about it, but I don't want to keep talking about boring stuff anymore. So I had an idea. I used to be a theater nerd, and I thought, why not do something a bit more dramatic? So I thought, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> ah, verily, even the most noble constructs of open source culture may, through misapplication and human frailty, become instruments of mischief and strife. Each pillar, though erected for the common good, may harbor shadows that, if fostered, bring forth grievous outcomes. The shining light of transparency can also expose too greatly. Thus, those who toil within may find themselves subjects not of constructive critique, but of harsh and wounding censure undone by an unbridled tongue. <laughs> the sweet concord of panny hands and minds designed to elevate the collective may instead give rise to contention as myriad contributors seek to assert their will. The intended harmony may devolve into a dissonant clamor. And the doors are flung wide, so too might they admit those with foul intent, who cloaked in the guise of goodwill, so seeds of discord and division. Thus the fellowship fractures into factions, raising walls whilst raising wheel. Though meritocracy proclaims that the most deserving shall ascend, it may become a shield for those in power to fortify their station. And in this guise, merit becomes not a measure of caliber, but a male of consequence. The very laws meant to free may instead ensnare. In the grasp of the sly, licensing may be twisted to entangle the unwary, transforming code into a thicket of legal brambles penetrable only by those well-versed in the laborious language of litigation. Be thou a spirit of contrib, or an edgelord damned. Bring with the airs from heaven or blast from hell. Be thy intents wicked or charitable. Thy pull request comes in a questionable shape, but I will review it and I'll call thee open source. As we invest the threads of our intellect and the sinew of our spirit and the toil of our passion, of many a soul converge, each line of code becomes as a child, birthed from our own essence, a legate of our legacy. And we strive to leave our mark upon the work as we seek to define our place within it. Each line, a statement, a declaration that amidst the vast universe, here I stand, by God witness me! Verily, an overweening attachment to a project doth harbor potential for grievous harm unto the steward thereof. Joyous passion breeds consuming obsession, leaving scant room for the refreshment of the spirit or the body. <sighs> Thus detachment is daunting, yet necessary travail, essential for preserving vitality in the project's enduring bloom. Herein, a tapestry of stratagems for such stewards who ponder a gentle retreat or long for mantle's passing. Let not the knowledge reside solely within the confines of thine own mind. Commit to parchment all that encompasses the code, the procedures, and the protocols of governance. This scholarly act shall smooth the way for both novice and expert alike. Be not tepid when asking automatons to toil, freeing the mind and the soul to discover, to invite the muses to speak clearly and with purpose, and more to lay low the hithers and dithers born of manual manipulations. A spy amongst thine band, those burgeoning with leadership's promise. Nurture and encourage them. In time, they may shoulder greater responsibilities, perhaps heralding releases, charting the roadmap, thus easing thine own weighty, weighty load. Craft and share a model for thine eventual retreat or departure, that the transition may be seamless and the project may endure without falter. Foster kindness and mutual succor, thus diminishing reliance upon thee. And with firm resolve, declare the bounds of thine availability, be it hours dedicated to toil or days marked for respite. Make known these limits with absolute clarity and be strong. By God, be strong! With time, this will forge the strongest iron. And now, the final thread in our tapestry. Withdraw thyself periodically from the fervor of creation, for such reprieves are both salutary and enlightening. They prevent the scourge of burnout 
and will enable the community to prosper even in thigh absence. Thank you very much. <laughs>